A heat of the Britannia Challenge Cup between UTS Heverfield from Australia and Quinton Boat Club. UTS Haverfield in Sydney in Australia have made a big journey. Um, seeing the crew on the right there from Quinton squeezing sideways off the start. Unusual to see that in a coxed boat. That's probably to do with the blade pressures. Um, and Hazel Wilson up there in the coxing seat will have had to make a little correction to keep them on course there. It's one side pulling slightly harder than the other, isn't, uh, isn't it? Of those in Australia, uh, I think it's tea time, uh, about your time. Uh, similar to weather to which uh, here in Henley, to which you're experiencing at the moment, I believe. Uh, we join the cruise, this is about 200 metres after the start. And it's classy performance from UTS Haverfield. They're just looking to move smoothly away. See them just with a, holding the finishes a little bit better than the Quintin crew. I don't want to be too harsh, but Blade's just coming a little bit loose in the Quintin boat, so they're not quite able to get maximum distance per stroke just through the finishes. And then when they came down to four Lee, so we've moved forwards just into the third quarter of the race. UTS Haverfield are able to control this one and enjoy looking down the Henley course. As we see in the coxing seat uh, of the UTS Haverfield crew, that's Tim Morrison, able to talk the crew calmly through the race. And they are enjoying it, aren't they? They're uh, uh, taking 24, maybe 25 strokes a minute. And they're making the most of the weight advantage too. They're uh, nearly a stone and a half a man heavier than uh, the Quinton crew. And they've got these long, powerful strokes. But if you compare in this great shot, you can compare the difference between the two. You've got one crew with a significant lead, you've got the luxury of being able to take their time and relax and control the race. And Quinton uh, having to fight their way back. And they're doing a brilliant job. You can really see on this part of the race, probably two thirds in. It really hurts. That lactate's really burning you, but they're not giving up. They're fighting back, doing their best to try and reduce that lead. Well, they're feeling the burn in the Quinton boat. I'm not sure they'll be feeling quite so much burn here in the UTS have a field boat. Looking in there, Zach von Appen in the stroke seat. In 2014, he was in the Australian junior team in the Coxless Four. 2015, New South Wales schoolboy rugby union team. So uh, an all-rounder. We get a lot of these. Uh, Rugby players who uh, decide they want to take up rowing usually leave their rugby teams short of a number eight and a couple of second rows and some flankers. Um, but they find a good place for themselves sitting in the middle of a rowing boat, or in this case, sitting in the stroke seat of a rowing boat and uh, enjoying coming to events like this here at Henley. And the Quinting crew are regulars here too, kind of uh, the Stro stern pair, Harry and Paul. Uh, Road, uh, Harry Road here, um, UCL, and uh, as did uh, Paul, uh, the three man in the UCL in the Temple last year. Yeah, that's right, they've got the experience. They're a much younger crew from UTS Haverfield, 19 years old, 18 years old. Zach Whitehead in the stri in the bow seat said this is first ever Henley. Uh, he's been rowing for five years while attending school and now two more years at university. Had some successes winning a few national titles in Australia, but nothing would compare to winning a Henley Royal Regatta medal in that red box with the green velvet and the gold medal sitting in the centre of it. Just look at the uh, bow of the Haberfield boat, you can see how smooth it's coming through the water. There's, there's not stop, they're not very jerky, it's not stop start. That boat's really efficient now. The guys are taking the time, they're loose and controlled, and moving that boat forward in a really efficient manner. I think anyone who's rowed knows how good that feels when you're in a boat like that and it's just moving smoothly along and you're in control. They'll have woken up this morning and you can't help having pre race nerves. You wake up, you know it's a big day, you know you've got to go out and deliver, you know you don't want to mess up. Um, and uh, then you go out and you do deliver, and it feels great to be able to then enjoy your work. Of course, we'll deal with jet lag too if you've come all the way from Australia. Can kind of um, another add a challenge to add to it. Jet lag and climate, although as you said, climate we believe in Melbourne today to be very similar to how it is here in Henley. I'm not quite sure about Sydney. I don't know if you have four seasons in a day in Sydney. I think that's Melbourne. You have the four seasons in a day. Um, but anyway, the crew from UTS Haverfield in control. Great race from Quinton Boat Club. They're hanging in there, still raising the stroke rate all the way to the line. But it is going to be a win. 
we see them come across the line. Quinton racing it out all the way through. They could be proud of how they've raced today, but it's confirmed there in the Britannia Cup, a win for UTS Haverfield over Quinton Boat Club.